first we're gonna start by removing the negative terminal to the battery and placing a claw underneath the terminal to prevent connection. First, we'll start by exposing the two screws in the pocket of the door. You'll need a pick tool. Next, we'll remove the cover to expose the screw under the handle. Note the position of the two cables, black being on the bottom, white being on top. We'll remove the connectors from the controls for the door. As well as the puddle light. Be sure to replace any missing clips. Use your panel tool and replace them accordingly. We're gonna remove the factory speaker connector from the speaker. factory speaker and install our OEM speaker. Please note that there are two additional clips that will need to be removed and replaced into the door panel at the center point. From here, we will connect the puddle light back into its receptacle. Replace the factory connector into the door controls. And as notated before, the black cable on the bottom and the white cable on top. Reinstall the door panel. To remove the speaker grill to access the tweeter, your clip is located right here parallel with the corner of the vent. 
Using a pry tool, wedge under and lift. Releasing the panel. Giving you access to this clip here where you can use your pick tool to release the factory speaker connector. To release the factory tweeter from the grill, you have a clip on this side and a clip on this side. Gently bending this clip back will give you enough to release it to where you can insert a pick tool and easily lift the tweeter out. Before reinserting the OEM tweeter, be sure to gently bend this clip back positioning the OEM tweeter securely into the grill. Reinstall the factory connector into the OEM tweeter.